What's up, BC? How's it going? It's Todd Guys, Thrash the Zombie. Back with another video. Turn it down. It's instruct indestructible noise command. Um, thrashy, hardcore, lesser known band from the 80s, late 80s or so. Uh, so today is a, another installment of Cassette Divinyl, my little uh, series I'm doing about albums that I had on cassette back when I was uh, a young young man in my late teens, early 20s sometimes. All these albums I had on cassette and I played them to death. And I've been trying to get them all on vinyl. Um, I'm doing it a little different this time. Last couple of times I've been doing it like alphabetically, kind of. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I, I get an album. Like uh, when I did Alice James' facelift, I did all the A's. Um, this and other time I did, uh, I forgot what it was. Some other letter. This time it's just uh, not all one letter, it's all different. So, a little different this time. Well, first, we're going to start right off with this one I just got yesterday. I put a pre order in back in October, November. And this one wasn't going to come until Tuesday. And I saw New Weird Comics had it for sale there. One copy. At like fucking noon, I saw this. And I said, well, I'll stop in there and see if they have it. It's probably going to be gone because you know, everybody wants this one. But looking. Another one is the one that everybody seems to want because it's like back ordered. Um, but everybody probably knows what I'm talking about. That's Anthrax, Sound of White Noise. You have no idea how long I have wanted this on wax. This album is one, <coughs> excuse me again, is one that uh, I was a huge Anthrax fan back in the day, still am. And after Persistence of Time and Attack of the Killer Bees, I heard that they uh, didn't have Joey Belladonna anymore. And they were going with John Bush from Armored Saint. And I, was, I liked Armored Saint as well. But I just couldn't imagine John Bush singing Anthrax. <clears throat> um, I was thinking, okay, is it going to sound like regular Anthrax with John Bush? Or is it going to sound different? I said, no, I'm, there. I'm not going to get that album. There's no way. It's not going to be any good. So, I saw this, the video. I think it was for Only. Or maybe it was Potter's Field. I forget which one. It was either Potter's Field or Only. I think it was probably Only. I saw the, the uh, video for that. Blew me away. I said, well, this isn't the Anthrax that I know, but damn, that's a good fucking song. So I went out and bought the album, and every fucking song in this album is fucking killer. I don't think there was one bad track on this song. On this album, I mean. Not the song. I don't think there's one bad song on this album. It's a little different than their other uh, uh, albums before this. It's a bit... Uh, I don't know if I want to say heavier. <clears throat> it's a bit... Um, a little bit darker sounding, uh, a little bit more rough with the vocals. Rough's not even the right word, really. It just sounds more metal, I guess. John Bush's vocals are, have a very gruff sound to them, and the way this music is on music is on here works really well with his vocals. Um, this is like the top. I forget where I put this. Top five, my favorite Anthrax albums. Maybe top three, if I remember correctly. Um, shit, yeah, I want to say it's maybe two or three. Uh, let's, yeah, this just came out yesterday. They released all the other ones as well. Stomp 442, Volume 8, The Threat is Real, and We've Come For You All. I ordered this one and Stomp 442. I already have... Um, we come for you all because this came out back in. <coughs> um, excuse me again. They already released this on vinyl back in 2017. This is only 
on black wax, where this, the new one um, is on colored vinyl, white with purple swirls or something. But yeah, this that came out in 2017, originally. So that's probably a first press, and the ones coming out now are second, or represses, or whatever. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I already had that one, so I didn't order that one. Yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not one that's like, oh, I gotta get that one too, because it's colored. I already have it. I listen, I buy these to listen to, not for collection's sake. But this one, oh my god. Comes in a gatefold. Very minimalistic. There's no inserts. Um, no lyrics. Came in paper sleeves. Came on white vinyl. <coughs> uh, it sounds amazing. I just finished listening to it. It sounds great. I'm excited to hear Stomp 442. Uh, it's not as good as this album, but uh, it's still got some pretty good songs. I like probably close to 80, 90% of the songs on there. Whereas this one is, I like 100 songs, 100, 100% of the songs on here. It's got two uh, bonus tracks, Noise Gate and Bordello of Blood, which they are alright. I'm glad they added them though, because otherwise they probably would have um, a blank side like they did with um, For All Kings. One side is an etch side, with nothing on it, and I really hate that. They used all all four sides, which is great. So, I mean, but yeah, definitely great uh, album. I didn't, another story to this, I ordered this one in Stop for 2 through Amazon. Uh, this wasn't going to come from Amazon until Tuesday. Psalm 442 says, says it's going to be here today, but last time I checked, it wasn't even out for delivery, so I'm not expecting it today. But, man, I bought this at uh, Newberry Comics. Yeah, they had a couple copies of Psalm 442. I said, no, I'm going to wait for that because it's supposed to be here Saturday. And it's going to be here either Saturday, uh, today Saturday, or Monday, so I can wait for that. This is the one I really fucking wanted. Um, it's fucking amazing. I love this album. It's such a great album. Okay, so that's the first one. This is a second one. Second album from this band. It's Megadeth. Peace sells, but who's buying? This is the Capital reissue that came out in... Shit, I remember now. 2000... Where is it? It says, all it says is 1986. <coughs> it's got to be another time. I don't know, a few years ago, I guess. I don't remember the date or the year. But, I mean, it sounds good. I have a problem with uh, the Megadeth reissues for some reason. They, uh, I had Endgame. Which I love that album too. We got that on vinyl, but both sides had some serious freaking inner dis inner group distortion on both my turntables. Uh, nobody else has had that issue, so I don't know if I just got a bad one or what the fuck. I sent it back, and I'm not buying any more Megadeth reissue albums just because I also have So Far So Good So What, and that's got some inner group distortion as well. This has a little bit, but it's not terrible. Uh, but this is a great album as well. Um, you know, when, this Wake Up Dead is a great intro. It just sucks that this is the remastered one he did. Because <coughs> he's remastered, he remastered most of his albums up to, like, Risk or something. And, like, So Far So Good So What is remastered as well. And it just, I listened to him, like, this isn't the one I know. Because the opening, um... To the pits of hell, or what the fuck's that called? Uh, I don't know. The opening track on "So Far So Good So What" it's it's different in parts, and it just sounds weird to me. Just like um, "Rust in Peace," the remastered. I'm so used to listening to the original and hearing the remastered or re-recorded or whatever the fuck it's called. It's just certain songs just sound different. Because he changed it. Because he wasn't happy, I guess. But in this one, 
doesn't sound too different to me. I know it's a few differences, and it doesn't really sound that different. But it's, this is this is a great album. Um, probably second only to Rust in Peace, in most people's opinions. Um, I actually like this one better than Rust in Peace. So, and this is the one I listened to a lot when I was younger. Rust in Peace is a is a masterpiece, obviously. But this this got me into Megadeth. Had this on cassette, cassette, listen to this all the time as well. Okay, next is uh, Sanctuary, Refuge Denied, their debut album from 80, 88, or 87, 87, 1987. This is from 2013, Music on Vinyl, um, M M O V L P 635. Great tunes on here. Um, Battle Angels, Termination Force, Die for My Sins, Soldiers of Steel, Third War. This was a blind buy for me back in the day. Because um, I just saw this. I'm like, wow, what is this music? And I was kind of surprised. And at first, I was kind of like, well, I don't know if I really like this. But after a couple listens, I was like, okay, I like this. Because uh, he's got like the power metal vocals sometimes, but the thrashy music going on. Um, I wasn't really into the like the power metal kind of vocals at first, but this this is just a great album. Everybody likes uh, "Into the Mirror Black" better. I like this one better. This is one I played all the time. I wasn't real impressed with "Mirror Black." Even though it is a step up musically and production wise, it does sound better. But I just couldn't connect with a lot of the songs on there like I did with this one. This one is just more raw to me and I liked it better. So, it's another, this is the third one from uh, Cassette to Vinyl. The, nobody in my friends group really liked this, so. so. But they like the Anthrax and they like the, the Megadeth. <clears throat> this one I haven't even shown yet. I just got this the other day. I only got this because I got, um, let's see, let's see this first. It's Testament Souls of Black. I got this because I got Practice What You Preach finally, an OG copy. So fucking happy. If you saw that video, I will leave a uh, link up there to that. Um, this is a music, another music on vinyl. I haven't listened to this yet. This is not the color copy. This is from, I think it's another 2013 um, reissue. Got a glare going on here. Um, nope, 2016. I think that's what that says. Nope. Man, I don't fucking know. I, it's not the colored one, it's just black. I don't know. It's uh, because the color copy was like a few years ago, I think. This one was before that. Does come with the insert, but yeah, this is uh, after the one after. Practice what you preach. A glossy finish on this, pretty nice. Um, I really don't know a lot of the remember a lot of the songs on here. I know Souls of Black, uh, the Legacy. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people call this uh, Practice What You Preach 2 because it was very similar sounding to Practice What You Preach. <coughs> Excuse me again. Which technically technically isn't a bad thing, I guess. But this um, it's a pretty good song. It's a good album. Man. And it's probably sound great because, you know, it's music on vinyl. They I haven't had any problems with any music on vinyl sounding like shit. But yeah. But even the cover 
is a little bit like practice what you preach with the, um, sorry, let's, I already put that away, didn't I? I did. Tease it over there. Anyway, yeah, the, the people standing there and, yeah. Anyway, Souls of Black Testament. And last but not least, I showed this in my last final finds or pickups and this is an amazing find I found or actually basically the guy at Newberry's brought it out two other ones Metallica's Master of Puppets OG and Motorhead I think it was Iron Fist OG and this one and this one I was like alright I gotta fucking have that uh, I could have bought this as a reissue and paid a hell of a lot less <coughs> but owning a fucking original press and being a gold stamp promo at that and it's a direct metal mastering which sounds fucking amazing a slayer seasons in the abyss I mean I listen to rain of blood I listen to freaking south of heaven love both those albums but this is the one I remember playing the most in my car as on a cassette with Seasons in the Abyss jamming out to fucking the title track and uh, War Ensemble and being creeped out the first time I heard Dead Skin Mask with the, that opening riff was so creepy and evil sounding it was just it made my hair stand up I got goosebumps from listening to it um, it just and the vinyl on this is like minty, minty fresh. It was, it's so fucking clean. There's no surface scratches. There's no scuffs. There's absolutely nothing on this. It looks like it came fresh out of the fucking package. Whereas the jacket is kind of, you know, it's a VG plus probably at best. But the vinyl is like, mwah, mint almost. Not, no records mint, but it's, it's near mint. It's fucking amazing and it sounds amazing. And this, I didn't even think that this would be a grail for me and it, it, it was. So when I saw this, my heart started beating fast. I was like, holy fuck. It's a fucking gold stamp promo with that and it's an original press. Fuck, gotta get it. So yes, and uh, Anthrax, Slayer. Seasons in the Abyss is the last one that I had as a kid. And man, this video ran 18 minutes. Jesus Christ, I need to stop talking so much. I'm going to end it right here because it's way too fucking long. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Love you? No. I don't like that. <laughs> but you guys are great. So I'm going to end it. Rock on. Till next time.